I've only seen two pictures of it, so we need to get down there quick. This one isn't big enough as it stands, but we've been told there is scope to extend it. It's very private. It feels like, yeah, this proper is, escaping. It's remote, but will this be the house of their dreams? I want that house, Noel. Steady on, Sue. You hey, guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, I've already talked about the Radfords and their love of you know, privacy and their new house and everything else. But I'd like to revisit it for a second because a couple of things have come up and um, their house has been revealed. <laughs> so I'd like to take a look at it with you and see what everybody else sees. There's another one outside. <laughs> We've all experienced nosy neighbours or curtain twitchers, but maybe not celebrity hunters. Papa's staring in the garden. the garden. I can see about four or five people at oh the gate. God. Oh my gosh. So you can say that this is maybe a little bit extreme. It's a maybe a little bit staged. But uh, whatever the case is, they have put their lives and their kids at risk on a daily basis because they don't protect their kids. Obviously not because they put their, their they don't just put their lives out online they actually put their house like front and center on the tv show so people know what their house looks like even if they drive past right so it's not a it's not a big secret so they decided then to use that opportunity or that excuse to up and leave and get a new one people turning up at the house has definitely become a regular occurrence the phone will come out and they'll start taking pictures and then the front gate will open and they'll start walking yeah, up the footpath. And that is where we draw the line. These concerns have led to a big decision. An Englishman's home should be his castle, isn't it? It's your own private space. It's your where your family live, isn't it? So we've decided to keep the old house and rent it out and that way it'll bring him some income to pay the mortgage. And not only that, it can contribute to the new house. So yeah, they decided to move and buy a new house. As I've already mentioned a couple of times on this channel already, but they decided then to, um, you know, because they've already put their house out there previously and there's no privacy left and it's a danger, they need somewhere really remote and really secluded so that nobody will ever find them. I've only seen two pictures of it, so we need to get down there quick. This one isn't big enough as it stands, but we've been told there is scope to extend it. It's very private. It feels like, yeah, this proper is, escaping. Is it's remote, but will this be the house of their dreams? I want that house, Noel. Steady on, Sue. You're not even... So it's private, it's secluded, it's out of the way, nobody will ever find it, despite them plastering it all over the TV show for everybody to see. And also, oh, what's this? What's this? They've put straight... <laughs> The name of the house, right? The name of the house is on the gate. And they have, um, yeah, they put that on their channel. And it's still on their channel. Obviously, they're so desperate for the privacy and everything else that they, they decided to dox themselves before they've even moved in. That's a good idea, isn't it? That sounds fabulous. As this, commenter, as this commentator said, thick as bread. Now, I would go as far to say that they are th as thick as Noel's pie pastries. But it didn't go unnoticed by the general populace of YouTube, as this person said. So much for keeping prospective new house private. You can see the house name on the gate, which if you Google, you get a house and full address. That's right, isn't it? That's, that is brilliant, right? So I'm going to give a quick disclaimer and say that everything that I show on this video right now is in the public domain. It's on YouTube. Well, it's not on YouTube. It's on, it's going to be on YouTube in a second, but it's on Google. It's on Rightmove. It's on the newspapers. It's everywhere on, on the internet. So I'm not doxing anybody. And don't forget, they've already doxxed themselves. They said, this is where we're moving to. This is the name of our house, right? Folly Farm. 
Yeah, so if we look at this article now, which was taken by the Lancashire Post. Channel 5's 22 Kids and Counting. Historic Lancashire farmhouse bought by Britain's largest family, the Radfords. When you've got 22 kids and counting, you certainly need a fair bit of space. So as you can see, this article was originally written on the 16th of May 2023. Right, and that's just after they announced that they were moving house and they were looking for a new house or they got a new house or something. Anyway, right, so I don't know if this article has been altered. Well, it has been altered, it says updated 16th of January of this year, but I don't know if this was released where they were moving on May of last year. I'm not too sure, but this has been ongoing and this is a a local newspaper to them bear in mind and it's people like this that keep them in the public eye as well so you know they can't really complain too much about it because if it wasn't for local newspapers or national newspapers they wouldn't have a channel they wouldn't have a tv show they wouldn't have public on their side and things like that now it goes on to say and so it makes sense that Britain's largest family, the Radfords, stars of the Channel 5 show 22 Kids and Counting, have recently moved into a secluded Lancashire countryside farmhouse, which was on the market for £850,000 with the, the agents Fisher Rathall. And they've linked it. I can have a look at that in a second. They moved there. They moved after so called celebrity hunters continuously turned up at their front door, but they have unfortunately had to ask five of their 22 kids to move out as the home, which is tucked away in Lancaster's Sline Hills. And they back some. <laughs> you know what they said, right? I mean, I mean. <laughs> I can say this because it's already out there on this newspaper, but they've said they've moved here because celebrity hunters are turning up at their front door. And then they've said, oh, by the way, uh, they are living in this place, in this town, um, in this exact house. Yeah, so... <laughs> I can't blame these because I do the same and I'm revealing what's happening. But, you know, the buck stops with Sue and Noel always. <laughs> and then it has all these pictures. Oh, there, there's the actual picture, the front page picture. There's their house. Oh, it's a lovely house, doesn't it? And um, there's the name, Folly Farm. Which, by the way... If, there is an actual farm called Folly Farm. It's like a, a kiddie's play farm. That's perfect for Noel, isn't it? Um, <laughs> and that, yeah, there's the, all the pictures there that they've got on here. Right, so here's the actual listing. It's on the Right Move website, but as you can see, it says this property has been removed by the agent. And I'm guessing the reason they've done that is because the, um, well, it's been sold for one thing, but also Noel has probably said, please remove the thing from your site. And um, they have, but it's still there. The listing is still there, right? So as you can see, you've got all the pictures again, and it's £850,000. There's the exact address there as well. It's right on there. I mean, I'm on the verge of doxing. I mean, I'm I'm teetering on that edge, right? But again, as I said, it is actually out there. It's online. It's is on the website. It's on Right Move. It's on the local newspapers. I'm sure it's on the national newspapers as well. It's even it's even on Channel 5's 22 Kids and Counting. So don't come at me, please. It's not my fault. I didn't do it, right? So, but here's another issue as well, right? On this listing, it has floor plans. So, what do you say to any prospective um, predator or burglar or anyone like that? Here are all the bedrooms, and this is where my kids are going to be staying. And also on Channel 5's 
22 kids and counting they also showed the kids saying oh this is my bedroom this is my bedroom and you know i mean <laughs> you don't do that do you because you want to keep your kids safe or do you i mean some people don't really anyway if we have a look at this it says key features it's got three log burners five bedrooms five bedrooms surely that's not enough surely it's not enough i mean no it can't be enough the house they're in at the moment is nine bedrooms isn't it so they're cutting out four bedrooms but they're just telling five people not to move so i think they said they got 17 people 17 kids living at home at the moment so you take away five it that's more than two a room isn't it it's gotta be doesn't feel big enough i'm sorry it doesn't i mean when i was younger I lived in a house with five, possibly five bedrooms. Yeah, but there was only four of us, four four kids. That is five. Yeah, I only need five bed, one bedroom each. I know we were quite privileged, we're quite fortunate in that respect. But what I'm saying is, if you compare it to how many kids that they have, it's you know, it's it's not enough, is it? Surely, you know, no. Anyway, I digress. They have three log burners, a front side and a rear garden. So that's nice. <laughs> to the side of the house, though, they actually have a canal where if anybody wants to go a little bit of fishing by the side of their house, they can come up and say hello. Hello, Noel and Sue and all your children. You know, where is the privacy in this? I don't get it anyway. It's got a large greenhouse that can be for Noel and his whatever it is he gets up to. It's got three bathrooms, which is, um, I don't know, it, it is what it is, I guess, uh, you know, 12, 15 of them, something like that. Anyway, double garage, which is necessary for all the cars that they have you know they have a car collection i actually read that they have a car collection <laughs> they have two cars i think don't they a collection um fully functioning annex is that included in the five bedroom ah that's what they're doing is it sorry i'm i'm a little, missing a little point here they 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 pointed out this like barn thing that they were going to renovate into um, an extra bedroom. So that may be an extra room to live in. Anyway, adjacent to Lancaster Canal. Uh, yeah, that's the canal I mentioned. Uh, Semi-rural location. So, yeah. I mean, all this is just really pointless because they have already revealed everything, even though they're moving because of lack of privacy allegedly anyway it goes on to say it is with our greatest pleasure and excitement that we submit to the market on behalf of our clients folly farm tucked away in the slime rolling hills this impressive residence has occupied its current location since before lancaster canal was even thought about <laughs> brilliant King Charles II sat on the throne when the first spade broke ground at Folly in 1675. It was an old, old property then. I actually thought the reason I was laughing because I thought it was going to say King Charles II sat on their throne. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. It will therefore celebrate its 350th anniversary in just two years. Sounds like a brilliant property. This stunning former farmhouse occupies generous gardens and grounds of around an acre, nestled in a semi-rural location with Lancaster Canal on the doorstep. Y you get like people floating past in barges then, surely. Is that... Not something that's 
troubles you at all <laughs> you know all the privacy in the world and you'll have people floating past you anyway yeah that is um that's pretty much the the gist of it really i mean if you want to go and look at it it's um it's on there you know i'm not gonna link it unlike these did um the paper they linked it um but if you just go and have a look at it it's it's right there it's not difficult to find but yeah, there was a great deal of concern in the comment section of the, the video from people just concerned and just giving them general advice, which I thought was quite helpful. This person said, perhaps you should not show where your new, your new house is. You need your own privacy and space. Then somebody said, finding it hard to have much sympathy. The Radfords have documented their private lives for the general public using social media, attaining a kind of cult-like celebrity following. Did they not consider that some members of the public could be rude, nosy and trespass their property? It could have been a lot worse. A brick through the window, for example, and on and on. They have put it all out there. They're all over social media and now they're searching for privacy. Come on. Exactly. 100% agree. And then this one said, please don't do aerial photos for TV as I found your house and the street you live on in seconds. And my absolute favourite, I'm sure this one is said tongue in cheek, but they said, how on earth do they afford what they do? Buying a new house just at the drop of a hat with only a pie shop for income. Exactly, because I'm constantly told that they, you know, it's the pie shop that makes them all the money and it's the pie shop is how they they get their income and Noel is such a hard worker because he has a pie shop, right? And yet they've managed to afford just at the drop of a hat decided, ah, oh, yeah, I think we'll move into an £850,000 property today. Yeah, that, that sounds like a good plan. Anyway, what did you think? Did you think that they could be this stupid? Did you think that they would dox themselves before they even moved in? You know, they're not new to this game, by the way. The Radfords have been doing it a very long time. A lot longer than a lot of family vloggers have been doing. So they must have some sort of management team that tell them to do this or not to do that don't dox yourself for example you know things like that but are they really that stupid or are they just too caught up in the the whole going to disney every two weeks that sort of thing is that um more important than the safety of their children anyway let me know what you think in the comments down below. Give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new for more quality Radford revelations. Until next time, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.